Last week, the club hacked away and looked for help from a sex machine. There were games, but I shit you not when I say I can't remember a single one. The club also passed a milestone, but I'll let them tell you about that. Bust it. Red Bull Gaming Club. Red Bull Gaming Club. Rebel Gaming Club, worst pickup, episode 51! 51. John? 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 Put the balls away. Give me the balls. I don't have the case anymore. I'll put them in my pocket. Got balls in my pocket. Don't lose those balls. Whatever. Something happened this week, guys. Ah, it's fucking big. It's, it's big. Guys. For the first time in the RGC history, we had not one, but two videos break Stokes. the 1,000 view mark. Jesus Christ, that was awesome. Two of them, the Karki Crate and the convention video, both have been seen a thousand times. That's pretty Over awesome. Over a thousand times. That's, that's something we didn't expect. No. But now we expect it. Might be a while, but we'll get there again. We'll get them all, they're all get slowly going. Appreciate so that. guys, check it out. In honor of that, you know what? I was thinking, we need to up our game a little bit. Why? The people at home, they want better production, they say. We we'll give them that. At least I think you guys are saying that. It's my chest. That was yeah. a good chop. That's what the people want, more chops, and they want direction. They want a director. I want a director, so I've hired the Rebel Gaming Club, a director. Why? What? Do we need one? Well, yeah. See how loose we started with balls on this episode. You're welcome. See what I'm saying? If I we mean, had a I'll director, a maybe that would have been a little bit better. I'll give it a try. It was fucking fine. We can give it a try, though, right? I was entranced by those balls. Let's give it a try. Who'd you get? He's right there. Him? Yeah. Okay. Why'd you think he was here? I saw he was hanging out. The people just come and go. Eric, come on over. Oh, jeez. I, sh I should have known from the outfit. Well, yeah. Why do you think he was here in that outfit? <laughs> with his, with his, um, his, his dictator, me dictator, megaphone. <laughs> um, Punch director. Yeah. I mean, I'm director. He's, he's dictating what guys, happens. Guys, he told yeah. me, he told me he's directed traffic around his motorbike one time. Yeah. True? Yeah. It was, a garbage, it was a garbage truck. That's a big deal. He would have backed, backed into it if I didn't tell him the... Yeah, see? Go around. So garbage truck is a big deal. So you, you've you done something. And good. you're you're good with directions? Oh, yeah. I gave directions one time. I was like, you're trying to find my house. Just keep on driving. Come to the stop sign. You want to take a left. If you come to Mongoose Road, you've gone too far. You need to turn around. Once you pass the crooked blue barn, my house is on the right. And they, they found my house. That's pretty good. They, they didn't get lost. That's pretty good. You have a child, so you've directed I directed him, yeah. Go to vagina. fucking bed! Go to bed! You tell your child to go to bed. Yeah. That's very direction. direct, too. It is direct. I'm like, go to bed. So you've given directions, you've directed, yeah. and you're very direct. Yeah. All right. That's the three D's that a dictator that a dictator needs to be good at this job. Yeah. Well, so you're gonna we're just gonna let you kind of handle the thing if you want to get in your your directing chair and and just let us do our thing and you just let us know if something's wrong. Yeah, I I've been watching, making notes. So all it's right, be great. We're gonna have a fun time, guys. All right, I'm thank excited. you. Yeah, yes. me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!
we just had to do a light check and the lighting's good in here. You yeah. guys you uh, guys got the lighting down. It's proper lighting. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we're not paying it. We're not paying it. So it's good. It's good. Yeah, Alright guys. Uh why don't right off the bat we should get some pickups. Yeah, what are we picking up this week? We got uh we got a stack of NES games. So Nick Grandchamp, you know Nick uh, Grandchamp? Ducking and driving, yeah. Ducking and driving. He's a deceiver. He came over. He just picked up some NES games, and we did a trade. I had some Game Boy Advance games. He's going on tour, so he wanted something mobile. Nice. I gave him something mobile. In return, he gave me something... Stationary. Stationary. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Uh, so we got three games here. First up, we got The Rocketeer. That, I think that's too high. No, it's good. You guys see that at home? So this is supposed to be a real bad game, guys. Yeah? Yeah, but I, I seen it and I, I, I wanted it and uh... I see it? Yeah, check it out. Someone paid a dollar oh, ninety-nine. it's a Rocketeer. It's a good movie. That's not even a good movie, to be honest. I liked it. I don't know why, but uh, I like it. I, don't, I didn't like it. Uh, we have this game. SNK. Yeah, SNK, but it's, it's Athena. And it's not a very good SNK game. But thank you. The best part of this is, so when you hit the jump button, you can't, uh, there's no, there's no, uh, alright, so there's, there's a large jump and a small jump. Yeah. And you can't, uh, you can't dictate? dictate how high you go by hitting the button. Okay, there we go. Guys, I'll be honest, this is, I'm, I'm getting a little flustered with the, is this good? I think it's good right there. Eric, is that good? I mean, it's a little close. You can't really see the whole thing. Is that all right? Sure. All right. So this is an another uh, NES hard. game I didn't have. And this is a. It says it's a Japan's top arcade hit. Oh. I can't imagine that being a hit in arcades, but Maybe I guess the arcade version is way better. Thanks, Sean. And this last game, our buddy Mosley. Mo. He knows this game. He's an expert. He's beaten the game. Yeah, who knows? Maybe he'll tell us about this game later. I don't know. But this is Journey to Silas? Silius? Silius? It's probably Silius. Can I see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's Silius. Oh, Journey to Silius. That's what I was trying to say. Anyways, this is a this is a, not a super common game. This this will run you around 19, 20 bucks. Ooh, it's pretty good. It is pretty good, and I, I was pumped that Nick had no attachment to it, so he let me uh, you know swoop in. So Nick, thank you very much for these. This is going right in the collection. That was good. That was pretty good. Eric, I gotta say, I already feel better about this episode. Having you here directing. Yeah, that was it was nice and clean. Um, Nick, we're all working together well. I think this is going to be a great thing for all of us. Nick Grandchamp is a fucking deceiver. You remember that time he said he paid $250 for that NES holder? Come to find out, he paid $2250. Hey, yes, say, we're going to need a little more emotion from you, a little more feeling. I want you to imagine for me that you just opened your garage and all your mopeds have been stolen. Now act. <coughs> Nick Grandchamp is a fucking deceiver! <laughs> director <laughs> yes <laughs> that was perfect it was absolutely amazing I loved it virtual high five yo you got that gang yo you know I do baby <laughs> you guys ready to see this I love me some traits I got me a package right here Ooh. that came in the mail. Damn right. This is a heavy hitter, guys. Hold on, hold on. Need a little more star power. We're right here. We're stars. We're stars. Yep. 
Triple A's got some star power. He's got some oh, greatest R and B hits a. from the nineties that we need to incorporate in here. You're telling me the people at home want to hear the top hits of the nineties. Yes. R and B. Yes. I feel like you're shoehorning that in though. No, it, it fits in nice. It seems Trust forced. Is he no, no. You? No. Okay. No, neither are we. No. So we're gonna cut to the top five R and B hits of the nineties. I like That's correct. Yeah. I like R&B, let's do All it. Alright, let's yeah. cut. I swear to God, if Pony's in there. Let's make this work. Alright, let's give it a shot. He's a fucking tool, let's go. Here we go. Triple A's top five R&B hits of the 90s. Number five. Boys to men, I'll make love to you. I'll make love to you Like you want me to And I will do you tell me to? Number four. It's that song, um, Casey and JoJo. All my life. Cause all my life, I prayed for someone like, like you. you. Pretty sure I nailed that. Uh, number three. I don't want to embarrass myself here, but I'm gonna. Whitney Houston. Um. And I will always love you. And I Number two is. God, it's such a long time ago. It's kind of a slow jam, but it is an R. Kelly joint. There ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Number one. Number one is drum roll. How about can you drum roll? Um, Montel Jordan. Okay. Stairway to heaven. <laughs> um, with all the girls. I gotta think of it. Number one. Coming in at number one. Drum roll. Get that drum roll. Genuine with Pony. Never even heard of that song. <laughs> Is that oh. even 90s? Pony! <sighs> number one. Coming in at number one, drum roll. Genuine with Pony. Girl, you're horny. Let's do it. Ride it, my pony. Your saddles, baby. Come and jump on it. Pretty sure I nailed that. Oh my god, guys, oh, we got a package right here. This is a triple digit price game on the GameCube. I saw Holy it on Facebook. Shit. I had to make a deal. Cut, cut, cut. You guys need to take it down. This is way too much energy. That's what we do. It's a little much. It's a little, a little much. We're known for high energy pickups. We bring the heat. High energy isn't trending right now, Ryan. Oh. Shit. Why don't you guys take a seat and we'll shoot it. When we take some seats, all right? You want us to take a seat? Yeah. You gotta sit down. Yeah, you, can, you guys can sit down and do this segment. Who's hungry? No, 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 no. Ugh, bitch. So I did a trade with Jacob, and he had a GameCube game that I wanted. That's rare. It you is rare. Games. I got a lot of GameCube games, and this one is called Fantasy Star Online. So guys, this is the plus version. This is the plus version, and uh, kind of hard to find. You, you find the, the normal version, which goes for around 40, 50 bucks. This one. Is uh, it's hitting the triple digits around oh. the hundred dollar mark? Holy shit! Awesome. 
Yeah, so to find that, that's another one of the, the heavy hitters. I still have a few heavy hitters left that I need to find on the GameCube, but guys, we are getting very, very close to this complete set. Real close. Which uh, a few months ago I didn't think was possible, but it goes to show you if, you, if you want something, you can make it happen. Oh, so fucking excited. There's a heat coming off your ass. Can I, can I sit up now? Yeah. My ass is all sweaty. All of these guys are making my ass all sweaty. Can we stand up too? Fantasy Star Online, Jacob, thank you so much for, for doing the trade with me. I appreciate that. Any of you guys out there, you got you got Disney you got basketball and you want to make a trade or I'll just buy it. I got a couple hundred bucks I want to blow. Let me know. NCAA 2K3. Yeah, you guys want to sell me that. I got Pokemon some box. All the good shit. That's that's a good thing about working 58 hours. You get some extra cash. Check it out. I got Grand Champ Billy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, right, Eric? Yep, yep. That's, that's comedy that's stuff. All right, you sexy bastards. It is that time again. We are going to pop in and take a look at some of the comments from the latest video. And we are going to, you know, pick our top three favorite comments. So. Without wasting any more time, let's take a look at what you guys left for us. Bruce Wayne says that Max Power is a plant from Tight White to stop Dan from collecting. Why? Because he ain't got that shit. And I have to agree with Dan on this one. I, I, there might be something to that. I don't know. We'll have to let you know as, you know, more developments occur in this case. And, you know, eventually we are going to get to the bottom of this shit, though. We need to know who that motherfucker was and why he was all up in our shit because we can't have that going on. So, uh, we'll keep you posted, Bruce. RGT85 writes, best pickup show on the YouTubes. And, you know, I appreciate that, man. We are glad that you like it. You know, what can we say? Game recognized game, right? Like, sexy dudes like us tend to just find a way of congregating together. That's just how it works, man. So, thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. With any luck, we will justify that opinion for a long time to come. Rex the Great writes that the Rebel Gaming Club is the Goonies of 2017. I think he went on after that to say that uh, Jordan was Data, Dan was Mouth, uh, Ryan was Mikey, AAA was Brand, and Yese is like a skinny version of Chunk. Which I guess, you know, leaves me as Sloth. And you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> I think this might be one of my favorite comments ever left on the channel just because as he says you know I fucking love the Goonies so thanks for the sentiments dude uh, this is one that I'll probably remember for a long long time uh, cheers to all you guys for you know leaving your thoughts and we will hear from you on the next episode or this episode I guess so. if you want pop over to the Rebel Gaming Club Facebook page for an exclusive review on Journey to Silius. we're gonna start doing little fun things in there for you guys from time to time more on that later this is going well having a director I feel like helps with the flow it hasn't it hasn't interrupt what hello oh hi hon yeah. Yeah, we got the reservations. They're on Friday. So, yeah, I already booked them. They were. Yeah, you can pick me up some, some bread. I'm actually getting low on, on, low on toast. So I will need a loaf of bread. Can you um, get me some bread? Yeah, I'm going to have to call you back in just a moment or two. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was really cute when you did last night. I bet it yeah. wasn't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably get out around, I don't know, probably 12.30 or so. So I'll probably be home around 1.00. But, yeah, I'll check it out and make sure he's, make sure he's tucked in. Alright? Okay. Alright, I'll talk to you later. I love you. <laughs> I love you more. No, you, you're cute. No, you are. Alright. Alright, bye. <laughs> and act. Um. Okay. Alright, um. That was good. Um. You, uh, you fucking don't do anything without asking us first next time. Okay? Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rebel Gaming Club. Eric. Rebel Gaming Dan. No, never mind, never mind, never mind. Guys, this week we got a special package from one of our friends, friend of the channel. He hit up the RGC Facebook and he said, he sent a photo first and he's like, are you interested? Dude, nobody does. Always. And I say, yeah, how much do you want? He goes, I'll just send them to you. Just oh pay, just, just pay for the shipping. And I said, you know what? Yeah, 
All day long, I'll do that. And obviously, I wasn't just gonna take stuff. God, I, I sent him a package back. Oh, a nice care package. And I will link his channel because he has just started a YouTube channel called Septum Sin vs. the World and he does DVD pickups and Blu-rays and stuff like that so I will be linking it down below. I love DVDs. I do too. I have a nice collection of DVDs but you don't let me Psych. ever you don't let me show them ever. Psych. It's, just, it's a dead media. It's random shows. Don't. What? Welcome to the dollhouse. No one cares. Septum Sin loves Welcome it's to the Dollhouse. It's a fucking video game show. Let's talk about video games. Jordan, we got, we got a note from Brandon. Can That's you Nice card. Nice and loud. Can you read it? Hope this package makes it to you. Okay? Loud. Loud. Hope this package makes it to... I will fucking destroy you. It's okay. It's alright. Right there. Okay. Been a fan since F Fluffy Gamer mentioned the channel. You guys even inspired me to start my on... My... On movie... Re what the fuck is that word? Recated? Dedicated... Uh, movie dedicated. That's enough. Channel. Septum Sin vs. The Wild. I used to love the Master System as a kid and hope this finds a good home. P.S. Don't know where the system is, but if I send it, I will send it along later. Find it. Find oh, it. Yeah. He should have wrote it in Chinese. Bre <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him! Oh! <laughs> Shit! So, Brandon, thank you so much. We are going to show you one by one what he has sent. And this is, this is all... Master System stuff. You guys saw that I picked up uh, a you little lot. You never see this shit. You never see it. I picked up a lot a few months back, but this is this is insane. I just picked up a system from Nick Grandchamp. So, first up, we got Miracle Warriors. That looks sweet. Yeah, I don't know. This system's strange. I don't know a whole lot about it. No, you don't want to show them all off yet. We got R-Type, which you can't go wrong with R-Type. Can't. We got Fantasy Zone. Unfortunately, I tried these out, they all work, but this Fantasy Zone, I fired it up, and it actually is hang on. That's weird. Yeah, that is a little strange, but, you know, at least I got the case, now I just gotta get the actual game. Oh, fuck yeah. Afterburner, this is a classic Sick, right here. Bro. We got Chop Lifter. This is a great basketball. I guess this series, the great, the great basketball, there's like a great football, might be one of the worst sports titles of all time, so maybe me and Ryan will go head to head at some of these. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, I doubt that. We got Ghostbusters, that's real awesome. That is awesome. I fucking love Monopoly games, dude. It, make, it, it, is, it does make Monopoly better. You could sit down with me and play Monopoly game on a video game? Yeah. Alright. I could smoke that ass. Well, that's happening then. We got World Grand Prix. That's good. I mean, Sega's real good at making a uh, 16-bit you know racing games. Yeah, we got we got this the Spider-Man, and I, I guess that it has this sticker on the back here. Um, the co-op collector was telling me that that's kind of hard to find with the the barcode sticker on it. So that's really cool. It looks like a fun game as well. We got Double Dragon. Can we can we play that song? No. no. It's not ready yet. Dude, we've heard that song a million times. No. They haven't. People haven't heard. We have a Double Dragon song. And it's going to come out. I hear it. We got Space Harrier. That's a classic Sega arcade game. Who's that? A lot of fun. That's Reggie Jackson, dog. This actually looks like a lot of fun, too. Whoa. Thank you. What else we got? Altered Beast. Ooh. I had one friend That's growing up named Bobby Stone that actually had a master system. I went to his house and this is the only game he had and we played it and that's my only memory of the master system growing that's like, up. That's the only game you want to play? I have a sweet Altered Beast shirt. It's a medium, so obviously. Sh medium. Let me know if you want it because I'll send that shit out. Great golf. You ain't gonna send it out. I'll send it, there's holes in it. They're like little. This is dope shirt, man. From rats. We have Zillion. It's from my cat. MC Murr tells me this is a great game. Murr. Oh, hey, that's great baseball. This is great baseball. Spellcaster. I don't know anything about that. It looks like a side scroller. Kind of action platformer. That's right. And we got Rocky. That man, what's up with these covers? Oh, man, it's great football. And it's great football. It's Wonder Boy. 
Wait. And the real gem of the whole lot right here is this Wonder Boy 3. Was it? Which is a, a real hard title to find. I'm excited to get down on this because I've always heard about it. I never had a chance to play one Does of these. Does that have to do something with Dragon Warrior or something? Or not Dragon Warrior. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go? Can I Google it for a second? Alright, so we're cutting back right now. They change it to Monster World. Monster World. And you knew that because. Retro Warriors Podcast. So if you guys don't know Retro Warriors Podcast, that's, uh, that's a good one to start with and you get information like that. Yeah. Also, he sent along a few of these controllers, which was awesome because we had zero controllers. I was using Genesis to play mine and a couple power cables. Brandon, thank you so much. That was super kind. And, uh, and we're already talking about working on some more trades together. Uh, make sure to check out his channel, especially if you guys like DVDs or, or Blu -rays, Blu-rays. Movies. Fuck shit like him, that. Him and, his, him and his buddy, they, they collect and they collect hard. They go hard. They, they do, because that's not a cheap hobby. No. We, th no. we think the, the video games are expensive. Those DVD sets, I don't, I don't know how you'd afford to do it. Nah. Unless you're a doctor or something. No, I don't think. I think. Okay. okay. Well, I, I think he works in a hospital, so maybe he does oh. have. Maybe he is able maybe to he's do a it. Nurse. Brandon, thank you so much. That is so awesome. That will be looking real nice on the shelf. Fun facts about the Sega Master System: the console was released in North America in 1986 at a price of $200, equivalent to $437 in 2017. So you pretty much had to be a rich bitch to get down with one of these babies. And did you know that there was only 114 Master System games released in North America? So with the 21 from Brandon, plus the 3 you already had, you're only 90 away from a complete set! <laughs> oh! Episode 51 in the books! Alright guys, we're gonna do a little bit of a demographic change here. We're gonna cater to a, just a slightly different demographic. So, yeah, come up here. Come up. So you want me up here? No, no, you're gonna stay off to the side. Yeah, yeah. So you, the side yeah? You're kinda of like looking over his shoulders. So, so he's it's, in, why is he in the front? You guys are kinda of like, we're changing to a different demographic. What demographic? It's just a different a different demographic. Just a different I'm feeling quite odd. Demographic. Awkward. I mean, I don't know, know what's kinda of confusing about is it. Is it urban? It's a different demographic than what we have right now. So I want you up here. Alright, that was a good what? episode. That was an awesome episode. That was really good. Yeah, it was, it was good, guys. We had, we had a lot of fun this week. Some good pickups. This was a really awesome week for pickups. I feel I feel like, you know, some weeks it's like, it really is the worst pickup. Yeah. This week was not the worst pickup. Master System shit, you never see that. That was cool. A big time, uh, oh, oh, oh. you never see a, yeah, the, the, the GameCube game. Never see that. Anytime you can cross off one of those $100 GameCube games, that's a plus. It is. Plus Nick Grand Champ. Is. is he in the way? No. So uh, that's fine. I, it's perfect. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, so next week, guys, is our one year anniversary. Oh, yeah. And to celebrate it, as you guys know, we've been working on the clip show. The clip show. Fuck yeah. It's taking forever, but it's going to be worth it, guys. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. In between clips, we're going to be talking about the show and how it's evolved. And if any of you guys at home have any questions you want answered for the one year show, I say you send some questions our way. Wait, what's. Okay. Ah, shit. What's Tuesday? Is that the 8th? I don't know what Tuesday is. Third. Essentially, if you see this video, you have the next five days to ask some questions. Please, ask before away. Before the cutoff happens, and we're going to have to be shooting the episode. What's wrong with that? Wow. I think I'm on vacation Tuesday. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm on vacation right now. I don't think I'm there, though. <laughs> I think I'm gone. Where are you going? All right. <laughs> Jordan, oh. we are going to have a hell of a time. <laughs> yeah, One man. One year anniversary. We'll see you guys next week. I'll be there. Make sure to... Like. Comment. Uh, subscribe. Share. 
Share that shit. With your buddies and shit, man. What these people want to see, John? You up front? No, 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 what? no. What? Nobody wants to see those tits. These, these tits? No. Nope. These tits? Yes. Nobody, nobody wants to see them. Nobody can see them. Okay. Well, that's his thing. It is my thing. I'm gonna. Uh, right, no, we're gonna we're, I said no, ah, no, fuck. no. That's right. No. We are the RGC, the Rebel Gaming Club, and we've been directed. Bye. Peace. Cut. That's a wrap. Cut.